So, cross country season is now upon us. And the people want to know, Jamie, what should I be wearing for cross country season? I need the shoes. You're the shoe guy. Let me know what I need and I'm here to tell you. Today, we've got three types of shoes that may be good for you and your season, all depending on what you like and what the course may be. See, in track, it's easy to say, wear a spike because that's kind of what you use for spikes. Track, spikes, makes sense. But across the country, the terrains may vary. So, I brought three shoes that may... Oh, really, guy, you want this? So today, I got three shoes that may work for you. We got your traditional lightweight cross-country flat. So this shoe is like a typical trainer, but a lot lower profile. This is actually the Ultra Vanish XC for cross-country. Here we have your lightweight premium cross-country flat. It's pretty much like a track spike without the spikes. So it's good for all terrains, kind of for your roads, your dirt, wherever you may be on the course, it should do you good just about on anything. But sometimes you gotta call in the good boy. Sometimes you gotta go hard in the paint. Sometimes you gotta go with a cross country spike. And these shoes are almost the exact same shoe. Besides the fact this is a flat, this is a spike. In theory, these spikes should be doing well on the grass, the dirt, Anything that you can like dig into, this will give you that extra traction that you may need. Especially on that rainy weather, wet grass. So, why would you use this one over that one? Well, we're gonna find out today. So Zach and I will be testing out different terrains, some dirt, some grass, some track, to kind of see which one feels better for what situation. And we'll let you know. So Zach, are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. All right, Zachary. So we're gonna try on the traditional racing flat. These are gonna be the Vanquish XC. So have you ever run cross country? Any previous experience? Uh, you know, I ran through a field once, so yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. All right, so Zach, got the shoes on? Oh yeah. So how about we give a few strides? You can uh, go around the field a little bit, a bit on the track. You know, give me a little idea of what you feel, like as far as traction, going slow, going fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you some time to do that. All right. And then I'm gonna put my shoes on so we can kind of switch back and forth. Sounds All good. All right. Let's do it. Have a good job. Stay in school. Here on the trail, we did a little bit on the track, a little bit on grass, but across country is about the various terrains. So that's a little bit of dirt, some rocks, a little bit of everything over here. So we're gonna try it out. I got the racing flats, the cross country racing flats. No, shot the sketchers. Let's go ahead and get it done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it.
All right, so you just saw us do a few different terrains, the grass, the track, the dirt, a little bit of slow-mo, you guys like the slow-mo, I know. But um, my thoughts on the various racing flats. I think these have a very specific reason for them. I think if it's wet, a lot of grass, I think where this shines is that grit. But the one downfall to this is on concrete. If you're on a course that has a lot of hard terrains, the concrete, the hard asphalt, those surfaces will rub down these spikes so fast. You can be skating, you can be ski, 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 and it ain't gonna be no good for you. So the whole point of traction of these spikes is to go into the earth, into the dirt, into the track, not concrete. That's why I kind of feel that these flats are a little bit of a safer bet. Like if you don't know the terrain yet, it's safer to go with these. But these both have a very much of a snugger feel. Track spike feel, snugger on your foot. If you like a lot of room, you ain't gonna get those in any spike really. It is so windy. It's so windy, I hope you can hear me. All right, All right Zach, you wanna give us your idea, your thoughts? Yeah, this was a fun shoe. Um, it's super comfortable, it has that wide toe box, which I like, I'm a huge fan. Um, so this is more of like your traditional shoe, mm -hmm. not so much of a snug fit. Did you have a preference over this style of shoe over like the more snug flat style? Uh, yeah, for like, hmm, if I'm just doing a race and I don't have to train in it, I'd wear the traditional flat, maybe the spike. Uh, but if it was my everyday trainer, you know, a longer distance race, definitely would go with this Vanquish Ultra. Uh, this was super comfortable, has that wide toe box, very breathable, uh, super lightweight. I mean, this felt like a slipper. You know, well, this one, it's it's gonna squeeze your foot and then um, you have to buy some toe spacers, so. But yeah, guys, your boy is making a comeback to cross country, which is why I have three different types of these spikes slash flats. I'm a little nervous. But I gotta do what I must do to give the people a good review on the shoe in action. So I'm actually doing a race, uh, a collegiate race. A lot of college kids, a lot of college athletes. Somehow I got into it. But um, I'll explain why in a different video and how it happened. But uh, it's going down. It's going down. They come back. But yeah, uh, I believe as of right now, I've had these shoes for about two weeks now. I'm going with the flat. I'm going with the flat, man. I like how these fit. I think the dirt, the grass, the terrain that I'll be on is gonna do it justice. Yeah. I would try these, but you know, there's some concrete, there's some hard spots, and I don't wanna be skating and stuff. So we're going with the flats. Keep it safe. You know, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Yeah, I feel like these would definitely perform well in a race. It's gonna keep your form good. The uh, thank. Vanish. Vanish. It's a little too relaxed, but it's comfortable. That's why I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's a, it's a relaxed feel. I feel like if I was doing... So, I'm bringing an 8K. Mm. It's an 8K. So, 8K, I feel like it's right where I would stay with the more snug fit of a spike or yeah. a flat. If I was, if it was more than that, let's say it was a, a super long, like, cross-country type race, maybe I'd go with the more relaxed fit of the, the traditional shoe. Yeah. Let me know what you guys wear for your races. I know a lot of you guys are in high school, in college. Do you, does your coach make you wear spikes? Do you wear flats? Do you wear normal shoes? Some people wear normal shoes. They wear Brooks Ghosts and Meeks. I don't know. If you're fast, you're fast. No matter what you wear, do what you got to do. But let me know what you guys wear. Where are you guys running? Your PRs? I don't want to have a PR for cross country. But I will soon. Yeah. But with that said, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs. And if you can, keep it tight. So you're probably thinking, Jamie, why do you have three different cross-country spike flats? Why? Well, guys, well, your boy's making a very short comeback. And yes, I mean a comeback. Cross-country race. Somehow, I put myself into a race. The way things worked out, I'm going to be running a race this week on Friday. And it's not just a race where you kind of just run cross-country. It's going to be a legit race cross-country, collegiate race, 
That means college kids, college athletes. I'm a little nervous, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it for the people. The people wonder about spikes and flats and cross country. Well, I can't review stuff and give you ideas on stuff if I'm not doing it myself. So it's going down this Friday. I'll be sure to give you guys an update. I might record the race, I don't know. What are you doing Friday? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, if I can't record it, I will.